Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Urma Shade You World and today I'm going to show you how we can import a delimited or a text file in Python. So for this you need to import the libraries and as you already aware of this if you have gone through my previous videos uh, I have explained why pandas is the most important library so here as well for whenever you import a library uh, sorry when you import any kind of a data uh, uh, you need to import pandas because pandas helps you in data manipulation you do anything with the data you want to filter out you want to change the data type or you do anything with the data you you play with the data anything you do whether you uh, data cleansing pre-processing pro data profiling whatever you do it's pandas is the most important library even for descriptive statistics so uh, so here i'll first import the library pandas and i'll give it an alias name to it as pd so let's run this cell okay i'm successfully i have imported this uh, library now the next step for this delimited or the text file is to uh, from pandas within pandas there are a lot of methods and to specific to such uh, you know when you read you want to read uh, this delimited file you need to call a specific method so here for uh, for such files you have to import or you can say you have to call a method that this read underscore table so here as well i'll i'll call pd within pd that is pandas within that there is a method called read underscore table and when you call this function you with the, how you can call you have to pass something in a parenthesis so i'm gonna pass here the path of the file which i want to import so uh, for this um, I want to import this salary underscore text. So before we moving ahead, I want to show you what is exactly uh, there in this file. Okay, this is going to be a very simple file. You can see every other column. There is a rank, there is a discipline, years, dot, since, dot, PhD, years, dot, service. Then everything has been, you know, uh, you, if you see, there is semicolon is there. In in CSV file, we, every, uh, we see a comma as is a, comma separated file and these are the semicolon or you might be you face any different kind of a sign or symbol which separates other values or other records within your file so you have to first figure out uh, what is there and then we can kind of uh, import a file with respect to it otherwise it will wrongly import a file and you will see the same delimited uh, different kind of separator are always used so as for such there is a semicolon so for me I want to remove this semicolon and without after removing the semicolon what exactly the records are and what exactly the data file is I want to import that so for this before that we have to first uh, as we have to uh, pass a path for which file is this so I'm gonna copy paste this whole path for and then I'm going to just paste it over here. And then I'll add the salaries underscore text dot the extension of such file are txt. So, uh, and don't forget to add this uh, double backslash. Otherwise, you will get an error here. As you can see, this... Um, this file as I have shown you uh, uh, just before that, that this uh, separator here is a semicolon. So there is a specific uh, attribute within this method is SEP, which stands for separating. So any separator, so here the separator is, so I will uh, give it a separator. What is it? That is a semicolon. So whatever is the separator. So by this, every other value is going to separate in this way. And then we will supposed to read this whole file so before reading this i have need a specific one uh, data frame uh, some variable name or something i have to assign in which we supposed to import this so uh, yes i have mentioned here df which is equal to this and let's just run this cell okay it's successful and to read this file i simply have to write df and again let's okay here we go 
something that I find which is not good that is unnamed. Unnamed is equal to zero, which says that there is no specific name or any particular header for it. Or you can say the column name. Uh, why so? Let's see and check this out in this um, text file. So if you see here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the serial number or a sequentially some numbers are given. But before rank, there is just a semicolon, and I can see there is a space. There is no, there is no number or something. So in such case, we have to give some names to your label. You can avoid here the header as well. You can simply just go and just make it header is equal to none. And once you run the cell and again, if you check, you will see there is 0, 1, 2, 3, which means that there are some columns, but the now the columns have been defined with some index value because we said header is equal to none. I can't do this header as equal to, uh, equal to none. And in that case, if you see, the first row becomes our header. So I think now it's again, we are going in a wrong track. So what I will do is I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll remove this header is equal to none. Instead of this, I'll give it a names. I want to assign names for all the columns. For the first column, I want to name it as serial number and that has to be in, in quotes only. Then for the next is a rank. So I'll give it a name rank. Then comes discipline. Discipline. Oops. Just leave it. Yeah. Okay. So rest is years dot since dot phd. Then what's next is years dot service. Then six. And there is a salary. Okay. Cool. So now let's run again. I'll just to run the cell and then again the CF. Oh, now the name has been assigned to all the columns, but still I don't see this thing to remove, right? So here let's first analyze or I would say let's explore what exactly here. So when you want to explore a specific function or method in it, just go with help pandas dot read underscore table and run the cell and you can see the whole description what exactly it is and what are the attributes and so and so so what i want to do is as you can see i want to skip this first row right because i have already assigned the names to my columns so now i want to skip so i am just looking there is any specific things that i can do skip yeah there uh, there has to be something right yeah i know uh, there is which says yeah it is skip rows so whichever the uh, call uh, whichever the row you want to skip or in between you can also do that so i'm just gonna write here skip rows which is equal to as i want to remove the first row so let's run this cell again and now let's run this read the file Whoa. So yes, that's how we can skip the first row and uh, work with the uh, column names, how you can name them, you can rename them. So this is the way you can work with your delimited file. So first check your text file and what is the separator in it and then just give in the separator specific name to it. Uh, but be, uh, make sure that this is read underscore table. You can also import a CSV file over this if the separator is comma. You can use read underscore table. That is up to you. But yeah, we have a specific uh, method to read a delimited or any kind of a text file. I hope you enjoy this video. If you really like this video, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.